Oh, what a beautiful day we have today. So sunny, cool, breezy, just feeling 100% healthy. Hmm, feeling healthy. Maybe that's something we should talk about today. Yeah, there's a subject that keeps coming up in the news over the past two weeks. I think we need to talk about it. So let's do that. Hello everyone. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you enjoyed your time off over the weekend. I certainly did. It's always way too short, right? We need to go to a more European style of three day weekend and four day work week. I'm never opposed to working 10 hours a day. I mean, I work 10, 12 hours a day as it is. To have a four day week, shit, I work 12 hours a day, no problem. But today, we're not talking about work and work issues. Today, I thought it'd be a good time to discuss uh, this topic that keeps coming up in the news, vaping. Now, I'm sure you're all familiar with what vaping is, the new nicotine replacement, smoking with a electronic device that vaporizes the liquid and thus makes it better for you. Yeah, well, I'm here to tell you that uh, vaping is actually no different than smoking whatsoever. They may say the delivery system, the vaping machine is better than the carcinogens found in cigarettes, which is like 7,000 different chemicals that wind up in there. Uh, I'm here to tell you that they're trying to pull the wool over your eyes. Vaping is actually very little at all, if none different than smoking. The only thing you're removing is the flame. And you're just replacing that with a superheated coil, right? So, as you may have heard in the last few weeks, uh, sales and stocks for companies that participate in vaping, boop, tanking like crazy. Because of a phony scare, which is funny as hell, right? The actual real reason you should stop vaping is not the reason you're stopping. The reason people are getting scared is over false news stories, which, I mean, whatever makes it happen is probably worthy. Uh, there's been a lot in the news about uh, the effects of the extremely high temperature heat that comes from vaping on your lungs. That is 100% true. That high heat will damage the air sacs of your lungs and burn them to a point where they can never recover. So maybe in a sense, vaping is even worse than smoking because smoking only reaches a certain limited temperature. It doesn't go beyond that into the vaping range. And so the heat that you ingest is less than when you get a vape cloud put in you. But let's stick to some of the facts. It is completely full of nicotine. So I know a lot of people are fooled uh, by the flavors, you got berries, you got cotton candy, you got chocolate mocha. I mean, I've heard of everything under the sun. Uh, those are the additive flavorings, which is another carcinogen that's in there, even though they tend to not count because it's a natural based carcinogen, but still something that's burning and not good for your lungs. Uh, that is infused with a shitload of pure nicotine. It's actually uh, condensed down to its purest form the nicotine in order to liquidize it and then reconstitute it with the vape formulation so you're not doing yourself any favor if you think you are by vaping actually the research shows that uh, most people that do vape wind up doing both smoking cigarettes and vaping so you're now intaking twice the amount of nicotine you would before hey look I don't never believe in telling people what to do. I believe in you do you and I do me and stay out of my business and I'll stay out of yours. But as a friend, an internet friend with some good insight and some information you may not have, I'd share with you the fact that vaping is no better than smoking. You're only fooling yourself if you think that you're doing society a favor by vaping you're giving us the same secondhand smoke anyway. So I'm not a big, I'm not a big uh, believer in nicotine products, I guess. 
I did smoke. I smoked for many, many years, but so I won't be a hypocrite and say, you shouldn't smoke, it's bad. It is bad for you, but I'm not gonna tell you what to do. That's completely up to you. But I will let you know that if you think it's saving you, it is not. Nine out of 10 people wind up doing both. And never stop smoking. So you're just increasing the amount of nicotine you're taking in. And I guess it's a little more PC when you vape. People tolerate you a little better, but not so much anymore. Maybe a year or two ago, but now they see smoke is smoke and vape is smoke. So you're not gonna get any PC love by vaping. Uh, it's very popular amongst young people simply because of all that delicious flavoring. Cotton candies and this and that. So, you know, we need to, we need to take this out of their hands. We need, we need to make this less appealing. Like I said, you do you. I do feel bad that they're about to take all these flavors off the market. Because if you do enjoy it, you should be able to. You're an adult. You want to smoke? Go ahead and smoke. Don't affect me. I'm not a big believer in secondhand smoke, just to let you know. Uh, so that's not one of my reasons to take on this topic today. The real reason would be just to share that pertinent information with you guys. Vaping is not really going to help you quit smoking, one in ten. And if you're the one, bravo for you, you deserve it. You know, you should be lucky you found a way to get away from it. Gold turkey seems to be the only way that really ever sticks. So if you want to quit smoking, that's how I did it. Not to be better than anyone, but it actually worked. It's the only way it worked. Reenie too, she used to smoke. As soon as she got pregnant, the minute she found out, cold turkey done. Never, Neither of us ever smoked cigarettes ever again. But, you know, I'm not gonna get into your business. Just wanna let you know, vaping, not the way. Some some serious uh, cold turkey, some, some serious fortitude in what you wanna do in accomplishing it, that'll get you there. But, like I always say, my opinion is nothing but a small fraction of what we're here for. What I would like to know is how you feel about it. And I would like to see it in those sweet comments down below. Do you currently vape? Did you vape and you were able to quit smoking? Share your story with the rest of the people in the room. I'd love to hear it, but let me know. Smoking just gross you out so you wouldn't vape, smoke, or anything? I get it, but I don't point fingers only in fun and usually at myself. So, y'all know how we do it here. Comment, definitely comment. Like, love those thumbs up. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. You'll never miss a new episode when it comes out. Love ya, have a great week. See everybody in the next one.